Alrighty guys, I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today. You know, in today's video, I really want to show you how to make a Moldavite ring, okay? Now, I've seen some online, but they're not as creative as I would like them to be, if that makes sense. I really wanted to create a ring that was more personalized for my use and that was more unique and just different, right? Um, I know I've seen a lot of Moldavite rings online that have like the sterling silver or they have, you know, the gold or the copper. Um, but I really wanted to make a very unique ring and I also wanted to share this with you guys so that if you guys want to make a Moldavite ring, you can get as creative as you want and to customize it to your own personal use. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> so for a ring, right, the first thing you're going to want to do to make a Moldavite ring is get a ring. Okay, um, this could be anything from, you know, I have here a piece of hematite. I have a hematite ring. Um, which I have on my website if you guys are looking for some of all different sizes um, If you want to make rings for your friends and buddies, you know for the holidays and whatnot But the first thing you're going to want to do is get a ring. Okay here. I have another ring. This is actually I think um, Somebody told me it was like white uh, uh, Silver gold or white gold or something like that. I, it really doesn't matter. It's just a ring. It's not gonna make my finger go green <laughs> um, But yes Definitely want to get a ring is the first thing you want to do um, and if you want to put this ring on a specific finger make sure that it fits um, I also recommend that if you want to put this um, ring on a specific type of finger that you at least have a little bit of space to where it can easily move in and out because as you'll see later on it's going to be very important for you to have some space just maybe a little size bigger um, so that it works accordingly right so that it fits even with all the adjustments we're going to make to the ring and with the moldavite so that's the first thing you're going to want to do guys is get a ring right <clears throat> and if you guys want to get a special customized ring um, i'm sure you can go to your local gem shop or you can check out my website and i will put that link below um, where you guys can get some special rings um, of different kinds of you know crystals you can get hematite you can get I don't know, um, red jasper rings. You can get different kinds of rings depending on how you want to mix and match your moldavite. So that's the first thing, guys. Get your ring. Second thing you're going to want to do is get some nickel wire, right? Here I have some nickel wire, and I also have some online on my website. Um, here's some nickel wire. This is actually 22 gauge. This is about. This cost me about two dollars and forty cents. Um, at my local gem shop. So this is what I got some nickel wire just to wrap The actual moldavite around the ring and you can get different kinds. There's different sizes. There's different colors. There's copper um, I think they may have gold actually too, but I only I just went with nickel wire I just wanted something that was easy to bend um, I even asked them I'm like is this something I could just bend with my hands because I don't want to sit there with the tweezers or The pliers, you know trying to bend that hard wire. They're like, yeah, this stuff is soft, it's moldable. I'm like, all right, this is what I'm getting. So nickel wire, right? 22 gauge, this is what I have. <clears throat> Third thing you're going to need is your moldavite, right? What moldavite should you use for your ring, okay? Now that all depends on how many pieces you have, um, what shape your moldavite is in, because there's some pieces that are make it a lot harder to actually, um, you know, wrap around your ring. I know, for example... Um, for this ring that I actually made before it was perfect. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me do a close-up This ring this moldavite was actually perfect to create and to place on this ring because of just its shape You know it actually formed to the shape of the actual ring and it was easier for me to wrap and I know that some people have pieces where like the shapes are super odd and it's like oh my gosh Like how am I gonna wrap this? Well, let's just say you might have to get a little bit more creative when you wrap those up, but if you have, right, um, a specific shape, like for this one, guys, um, I'm actually using one of my bigger chunks to wrap. And the reason I chose this one is because I do want a bigger piece of Moldavite wrapped around my finger. But not only that, if you guys can take a closer look, there's this, like, little ledge right here, this little crack, where I can actually wrap it more effectively, and it's actually going to hold the Moldavite in place. Okay, so if you have a piece of Moldavite, maybe, maybe it's a weird shape, but if you can find a ridge like this inside it, inside of it where you can just literally wrap the Moldavite very securely, you can definitely use that as well, okay? So, after you have your Moldavite, guys, you pick which Moldavite you want to use, make sure it's going to look nice, you, you know, you make sure it's going to fit well. Um, you know, like for this piece, 
I mean, I could I could wrap, you know, this piece of Moldavite around my ring, but honestly, just the way it's shaped, it, it's just not, I mean, I could, but I, I just really wouldn't want to. Um, that's why I'm glad I have another different piece of Moldavite, but it's definitely possible. I don't like saying that you can't do something. It's definitely possible to wrap any piece of Moldavite on a ring. You just have to get more creative. But for this case, guys, like I said, I'm going to use this piece of Moldavite. So what you're going to want to do is cut enough copper wire out, right? I kind of just um, looked at it kind of just enough where it's like not too much of it's going to be like dangling all around your leg, but just enough where you can wrap the actual Moldavite piece and just to wrap the ring. Like you really don't need that much. Um, <coughs> maybe like about 12 12 inches, 24 inches, I'd say maybe like about 16 to 18 inches of copper wire. I think you should be good. Maybe that's a little too much. But <laughs> anyways, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually cut the copper nickel copper wire out and start wrapping up the Moldavite piece. Okay. And that's what I actually already did here. And I just literally just wrapped it around this little like edge, this like little ridge that it has. I literally just wrapped the the nickel wire around it so that it so that it's holding it really tight in place like this is not going anywhere right this moldavite's not falling out and so the next step that i actually go into which is really just the last piece this is really just the last step is i actually just wrap this moldavite piece now to the ring and it's really really simple guys like <clears throat> um i remember when i actually came up with the idea to just wrap it with nickel wire I was like oh my gosh this is like the easiest thing I've ever done like I literally got it done in like I don't know a couple of minutes see like now I just wrapped one piece of the ring right to make sure that it's you know wrapping around the actual ring I don't know if you guys can see that I literally just wrapped that around the ring and now I'm just going to do the other side as well that way I know it's secure now let me do the other side. Da, 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 da. The other side. Yep. And the great thing I love about this nickel wire is that you can literally bend it with just your hands. Like I know for like the very first time I tried wrapping my Moldavite on a necklace, I used some old wire that we had in the garage. And um, <laughs> let's just say it, it became quite a mess. It, 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 it was, um, I was using, you know, tweezers and pliers trying to bend this, this wire. And I'm like, man, this is just too difficult. Like if I could just bend it with my hands it would just be so much faster and so that's this is what I have right now guys so this is like my ring my Moldavite ring um it's literally finished um the only thing I probably changed since I did this one kind of quickly is just to make sure um it looks nice like just to make sure everything's inside um oops this might be a little too big there we go so making sure that everything is nice uh, you know, I have my Moldavite ring here. It's on here. Boom. <laughs> I might go back and actually fix it later. I just kind of did this really quickly. But, um, you know, when you take your time and, you know, you really go, you know, slowly with patience and you're wrapping your Moldavite and you're wrapping it around the ring, um, it ends up looking really nice like I did with this one. This one, like I said, I don't know how it just it just came out really nice. I mean, I like it and it grounds me as well. Um, that's why I wrapped it around with a with a hematite um, ring and then just mixed it in with the moldavite. And um, funny enough that when I wear it like this, it's fine. But when I wear it like this, like upside down on my finger, like the weirdest things start to happen. So I definitely like to wear it up like this instead of the other way because it just for some reason or another the energy is just better and um but yeah i really wanted to share that with you guys on how to make a moldavite ring it's super 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 easy like it it really it's not rocket science guys like anybody can do this um i'm probably going to redo this one later just because like i said i did this one really quickly 
but the only thing I would change is just go back in and just make sure that all this is nice and tucked. That way you can't really tell that it's wrapped around the ring. Other than that, guys, I mean, you can wear it. You can do what you need to do. Um, yeah, it's a Moldavite ring. It works. So hopefully, guys, this video has helped you out in some way, shape, or form. If you have any other questions or maybe you want me to do another video um, of me wrapping up another piece of Moldavite, just let me know. I definitely love these rings. And um, like I said, it's an easy way to get it. I have some of those supplies um, at my Amazon store um, at www.themoldavitexperience.weebly.com. I will put that link below. And um, if you guys want to order um, or want to get some of these, you know, these hematite rings or nickel solder wire or just nickel wire, um, feel free to do so at my website. So I will definitely leave that link below, guys. And hopefully this video has helped. I thank you guys so much for watching. I send you so much love. And if you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to join this channel right now. And guess what, guys? I will talk to you very, very soon.